right, Dick Oliver is hard at work this morning, Ollie. Yes, Jim, we're joined by Ken Curson of Money Magazine and his uh, pet, Judy, who joins us here uh, near Wall Street. Ken, uh, as we just heard, the uh, Dow Jones Industrials up over 400 points. What's the outlook? What are your thoughts? Well, that was a really beautiful rally yesterday because it wasn't sparked by an interest rate cut or some other, what I like to call an artificial stimulant. It was actually some relief. And I even like better the fact that the news that sparked it, the Dell was going to come in at earnings, wasn't extraordinary great news. It was just enough news. It showed that there's a lot of pent-up demand out there. Was there anything that sparked it? We often look for things such as uh, the, the price of interest going down or whatever. Anything that sparked this? Well, Dell Computer came out and said, you know what, things aren't that bad. We're going to hit our earnings estimate. We've had 70% of uh, early announcements be warnings. So to have a company of Dell's significance come out and say, we're not in any trouble, really reassured some people. And then you have a lot of pent-up demand. There's, there's been all this selling, a lot of money has accumulated on the sidelines, and people, you know, the market's one big vacillation between greed and fear, and uh, green re greed really carried the day yesterday. When will we know when we've hit that point where people should be investing that uh, money that's been laying aside? Well, investors were trying to say that yesterday, that it was the point. Now, one little uh, sort of keep in the back of your mind indicator was that volume wasn't very strong yesterday. It was good, but it wasn't gigantic as sometimes happens with a huge rally. So there, there might be some more pain ahead, but I, I think we, we've seen the worst of it in terms of the speed at which it fell. I don't think we're going to see another quarter like the first quarter of 2001 for a long time. Is the market seeing any reaction to this standoff between uh, China and the United States over the uh, U.S. reconnaissance plane? I think you saw that on Monday and Tuesday, that, that it, it just added to the general feeling of uncertainty. It wasn't a specific thing like, oh, no, we're going to go to war, but it, it was a feeling of uh, uncertainty. And now that the t cooler heads seem to be prevailing and it looks like a diplomatic solution is, you know, let's cross our fingers at hand, I think that that, that adds to the general feeling of, of growing confidence. What will you be looking for today? I'm going to be looking for more companies to come out and reassure investors. I don't think a lot of companies are going to come out and say, we have tremendous earnings, we're going to blow away estimates, but, but more of the leadership. IBM was up yesterday after the bell. I think more of the, the industry leaders are going to come out and say, hey, things aren't that bad. All right, the bull has a lot of fans this morning. They came out to see him, so uh, let's uh, see what happens today. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you, Ken. Ken Kirsten of Money Magazine.